If you are at home and you have a candle or chalice which you would like to light as we light our common chalice, I invite you to do that at this time. Our chalice lighting reading is from Wendell Berry. All the world cannot be discovered by a journey of miles, no matter how long, but only by a spiritual journey, a journey of one inch. Very arduous and humbling and joyful, by which we arrive at the ground at our feet and learn to be home. These are words we say every time we gather in sanctuary and invite you to speak the words that are most resonant for you this evening. At the end, though, I'd invite us all, thank you, to say those three deeply sacred words, we welcome you together. Whether you go to church on Sunday morning, or light candles on Friday nights, whether you've been hurt by religion, saved by it, or some of both, whether you're brand new to spiritual community, or a seasoned seeker, whoever you are, whatever you are, wherever you are on your journey, all together, we welcome you. And I invite you to take some time now to greet folks who are near you and folks who are far from you. Greet your neighbor. If you want to say hi to folks on Zoom, give a little wave to the camera. Folks on Zoom, say hi in the chat. Take some time to greet each other this evening. Our words of inspiration this evening, I'm delighted to read uh, from Reverend Teresa Ninan Soto, called, When Your Best Friend Has Four Legs or So. Sorry, Four or So Legs. What it means to have a pet is to love someone who speaks a language you do not. A dog will bow and prance, a cat will purr and blink, a guinea pig will giggle and squeak. I had a dog with soft ears and considered herself the pup's guardian. A gentle way to think of protecting and caring for a friend such a small gesture of respect for a source of boundless love. The dog's long pink tongue lolling in a goofy grin. The cat convinced that kneading and grooming are crucial to this day. A bird asking for a treat, bending a wing to wave. These are friends. They are loves. It's kind of a surprise that you should love someone so much who would eat the butter on the table if they could get away with it and gets endless hair on the sofa when they aren't even supposed to be on the furniture. When they are called companion animals, it is such an open, tender truth. The endless cuddles and tricks and loyalty, the comfort of fingers to fur and big, adoring eyes. These are friends. These are loves. They stretch our hearts and fill them with their abundance of kindness. When they are gone, our hearts remain larger, though their absence leaves room for expanses of grief. Their love champions and companions us still. <laughs> 